At the barrier, about to be called in. So they're at the gates here and about to be called up. Lake Commando, real swagger and alerted behind the gates. <coughs> Calling them in for race three. Righto, Andrew, thank you. Good afternoon to you. And they're being called in. There's Rock Speed going in now. He's the first one forward. So they're loading up. Oriental Express walking in. Righto, Andrew, thank you, and good afternoon to you. Welcome to the chair on Melbourne Cup Day as Oriental Express moves in, but the odds-on favourite is Rock Speed here. Bookies opened up 150, got it out to 165. Punter's happy to take that. It's back into 150 here and has been the best backed. Only other one under double figures on the tote is the six, which is Lay Commando. It's got good recent form and has a, a definite chance here. They've got it a lot shorter on track. It's 380 out to 440 here on track, so if you like it, you're getting good overs on the tote. So they're coming in well for the third race of the day and the Melbourne Cup only about well under an hour now, under an hour's time until the, the great race. That's alerted walking in, Lee Commando still out with Bold Grace having her first run, or his first run, the gelding by Ferocity, having his first run for Graz Vela, was originally uh, trained by Danny O'Brien down in Victoria. Races without the blinkers here. He's got to come up yet. Real Swag is still out of line. Fast and Thorny and Esther Knight. Four left to load. But he's a lovely looking horse, this uh, Rock Speed. Looked very well when he paraded. He was very relaxed. William Pearson has the ride for Matt Dale, who's already had a winner today. His Real Swagger just gets on the toe a bit behind the gates. Rares quite high. The clerk of the course has got it now. That's Bold Grace on screen. They're going to try and uh, bring it in. Jockey now dismounts. Ben Moffat hops out of the saddle. They're going to try and bring Bold Grace in riderless. And they've done the job there. Ben even lending a hand to uh, shut the gate behind uh, Bold Grace. Having his first run in New South Wales here. 140 now, rock speed. No change on the track. On track downstairs, still 150. Lake Commando, 440. Fast and thorny has gone for a bath, $5 out to nine fifty in betting, Real Swagger 7 out to 11 so they've backed nothing to beat the favourite as Real Swagger comes up towards the gates riderless. So the last couple to get set here, Fast and Thorny and Esther Knight, the two left to load, Rock Speed stands well, Bon, uh, bon Deer stands well in the gates, so Fast and Thorny walking up, Esther Knight, the last one to load. Odds on favourite, Rock Speed. Looks hard to beat. He's uh, had two starts for two seconds here at Canberra. Has the good gate. And Pearson to ride. So Esther Knight goes in. Ready to run now. Over the 1,400 metres. And they're set to go. Starter climbs up onto the rostrum. Red light. All set now, racing. Rock Speed near the inside began quickly. Bondier is being ridden up and alerted, breaking out of the pack in the early stages. Is going to roll to the lead. Alerted goes clear by two or three lengths on Esther Knight and driving up near the inside. There was Rock Speed. He's getting into a good spot just off them. Followed by Lay Commando. A couple of lengths further back then to Real Swagger. And they're being trailed then further back in the field by on the outside and working up very quickly was Fast and Thorny being trailed then as they sweep down the back by Oriental Express and Bold Grace just in front of it down towards the rear of the field. Coming down the side now at the 800 and alerted. Running it pretty quick in front is out by three lengths on Rock Speed. Just behind those Lake Commando in that bunch of horses and Esther Knight is up there. Three lengths further back then to Real Swagger, Fast and Thorny, Bold Grace. It's down second last and Oriental Express is at the rear of the field. Coming down the side at the 4.50 now and alerted still on top, leads two lengths on Rock Speed who's had every chance. He's about to come away from the fence. Esther Knight pushed along in third followed by Real Swagger 
Swagger, Low Commando, Bondi a well back. And down the outside was Bull Grace. Down to the, the uh, 400 metre mark. Alerted, joined on the outside by Rock Speed. Lay Commando given full board to come after them. And then came Bull Grace right down the middle with Fast and Thorny. Rock Speed, no good thing. Lay Commando's got him on the outside. And Fast and Thorny with Bull Grace. 100 to go, Lay Commando. Fast and Thorny's having a dive on the line, but it'll hold on, Lay Commando. Lay Commando beat Fast and Thorny in third. Bull Grace, Rock Speed has run fourth. He was a bit disappointing, you'd have to say. Next home was Bondier, followed in by Estonite, well back Oriental Express, alerted, knocked up, and real swagger, the last one home. Stand by for the numbers after race three. Lay Commando has got the better of them, and a, a good fighting win. <coughs> Ridden by Kayla Nisbet for Norm Gardner, local trainer, and coming off that fifth last start at Canberra when uh, only beaten a length and a half in a maiden and uh, he's gone on with the job to uh, record a win here. It looks as though it'll be uh, six, five, and one. Rock Speed had his chance. He sat second off a, was a hot speed. Was pulled to the outside in the straight, but Lake Commando. Looks as though it'll be too good for them. After the running of a race number three today at Canberra. We'll stand by for the numbers. They're coming to hand now. 6517. 6517 at Canberra after race number three. Testing test one two one two. It's a bit better. Six five one seven at Canberra. Six five one seven. <laughs> 